Welcome back, Wowzery, and they, uh, back to Ultimate Animal Dreadnoughts. They did a little hot fix, uh, which they, uh, no, get right here, no. I guess they redesigned the four and five inch guns of Japan. Hopefully some repairs in auto design. And here's, no, they fixed the bug that caused the AI to build ships with underwater guns. Saw that one. Uh, apparently they fixed the empty, empty barbette warning. Uh, that's with the new King George and Vanguard towers. There's little uh, secondary barbettes. And it would give an error if you left them empty. Uh, haven't run across the Mount 2 error. Caused turret barrows to overlap with superstructure when rotating. I've seen that a few times. That's been something that's gone on since the beginning. Uh, they fixed a rare bug that caused a critical exception to too many threads. Uh, didn't run across that one. Uh, various towers and ship parts and improvements uh, for the reduced distance in which the AI scout and independent ships operate away from the main fleet. Uh, the AI should save ammo more efficiently. I've had a couple battles lately where we've run out of ammo and they've done some as people have suggested you know some penetration improvements I think there was a big uh, big forum thread about that one not too long ago and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use see if I can find this new armored cruiser hull 85 and 10,500 85 and 10,000. Let's see. 85, 10,000. I guess it's Armored Cruiser 4 hull. Be a bit different right there. Hmm. Main towers. Going from 700 to 250. 50,000. What's that one look like? This one. Eh, let's be a little bit different. Let's go with that one. There we go. Speed. I want bulkheads. Range I don't need. I'm going to max that out. Let's see. I saw some steam. I'm stuck with coal. So. Go with crep 2. See if we can add some things in here. Go with white powder. And a range finder. Oh, that's not giving me much. What's my speed? 27 knots. Go to down to 24. That gives me a little bit of, of uh, additional play. And let's see. Fifty two per cent. Twenty two, that'd be forty four. So actually, this is actually lighter and easier. Oh, what type of guns do I go with? Let's try 8 inch today. And let's give some wing turrets. Hmm. That's a bit different. Increase the speed. 
speed. Maybe a bit of armor. Bring it up to an inch. Nope, that's too much. Too much. I'll keep it right there. Got more of a battleship now, the, the six hexagonal thing. I've got no secondaries or torpedo tubes. I'm going strictly all main main gun, eight inch guns. So this will either be a huge mistake or it'll pay off pretty good. I don't know. We shall see. What type of enemy ship do we have? Did I just do one enemy ship? No, no, no. I did two, two. They're just second one's not visible. It's right in there somewhere. My typical little freeze that I do. It always happens when I'm looking at, I think, the enemy ship. I don't have the greatest computer. So, I've seen a few people ask, you know, well, what do you have and stuff like that, but, huh, I don't think I can use those guns right there. What a waste of tonnage. It's got, what, three, let's see, what is it, six inch guns, okay. So, I actually have the heavier gun. He's got the bigger gun. I got, he's got the quicker fire guns. There we go. There's a hit. It's interesting that it allows this uh, type of turret configuration for 1903 or 1904. Nope, missed. Uh, those are going to miss. These, I think they're going to come over here. Yeah. Okay, now they're all, all the firing there. Over here. And nope. Nope, nope. Could just try and close the distance here. It is an early thing, so I think torpedoes, if he's got any, will be uh, short range. Still just that one hit. Still nothing. Don't know how fast he's going. Eighty three per cent identified. Ah, oh, these are Italian gunners, so.
No, no, they do have torpedoes. Let's see. Range. Range three kilometers. Three point three. And we're what four kilometers and we can't hit a thing? Neither of us. Although he has hit me twice. Wow, that shot went uh thought they tried to f they fixed that, you know, overshot like that. in the torpedo range of this guy. Man, nothing. I did give a second hit, but nothing happened. Yeah, I guess that was this one right here. There's a hit. Uh, let's see, where is the torpedoes? On the side. Oh, that was a good hit. Got some flooding, fires. What do we have? Max, of course, maximum bulkheads. No, they always max out the bulkheads. Oh, yeah, the six-inch guns are kind of useless. Flood and got hit with that six inch, five inch. Mm -hmm. Now we're back to not hitting a thing. Oh, they're switching really. I dislike it when it does that. It's always so aggravating. Let's make a U turn here. some more flooding. That's our range now. 3.9. We close down a little bit and we do start doing stuff. What is their speed? 17 and 7. Maximum speed of 19, so we're actually faster than they are. There's some 
There we go, come on. I got a bit of a turn here. Yeah, there's some more flooding. Yeah, there we go, come on. More flooding, come on. Let, let, let's sink this thing. Really, it's, uh, I hate it when it switches lead ship. Man, we're so close to sinking this guy. <clears throat> me didn't it although sank that one it was a flash fire and we're now one on one I wondered if that was gonna happen this time See if we can get a bit closer again. We tend to have better tend to have better luck hitting when we close in the distance. Where are we at? Three point seven. Three point five. Yeah. This one hasn't hit too much. guys just can't seem to hit anything. Yeah, there was a torpedo launch. Yeah, right there they are. And... nope. Gonna take a torpedo. Darn it. Recognized it just a second too late. Wonder if I had turned in towards him, if that would have done any differently. Oh yeah, because I've got two engines out now. It goes down really slow, but when the computer has three engines out, it can still hit almost maximum speed. Because, you know, that's fair. Man, can't, nobody's hitting anything. Flooding again. Yeah, 
doesn't appear to look good for me. Do a little bit of a turn here, keep my guns facing him at least. And of course being this this era they have a hard time hitting anything. I think he's going to run out of ammo before he uh, sinks me. If he closed in a little bit now he could get some torpedoes on me again. Can't hit anything. This is the uh, pre dreadnoughts are fascinating to look at and all that type of stuff, but when it comes to actual battles like this, they just they tend to suck. So while they're fascinating, it's yeah, and now this is what I don't like about the AI of the game right now. I mean, we will sit here and now the battle's pretty much over now because the AI will never come back into range. Need to put that in the... I think I did make a thread about that once and Now it's kind of ignored a little bit, but it does get kind of... I mean, you're, you're trying to do a battle, and they're always aiming for maximum range. It's no fun to watch. Well, this is how it's going to end right here. We each have a ship left. He left me no, pretty damaged. He could have come in. A human player would have come in and finished me off. But the AI, he likes to run away. So we'll leave it here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. The design, mm, I'll give it a C. But uh, let me know what you think. Liked it, didn't like it. And uh, I'll see you next video.